One side of square A is equal to two fifths of the radius of circle B if the area of circle B is 64 pi, what is the area of square A? Um, a lot going on in this problem. It sounds a lot more trickier. Again, all these problems will sound a lot more complicated than they really are. Break it down to the simplest part. So let's start with the final question. What is the question really asking us here? The question is asking me for the area of the square. And how do I find the area of the square? The area of the square is side squared. So if I know the side of this square right here, square A, I can easily figure out the area of the square, right? So let's figure out how we can get to the side, the length of the side of the square here. The problem tells me that one side of the square A is equal to two fifths of the radius of circle B. Okay, so I need to figure out the radius of circle B right here. And what does it tell me about the circle B? It tells me that the area of the circle is 64 pi. So the area of a, the circle is 64 pi, and we know that the formula for the area of circle is pi r squared. We can set them equal to each other. So we will, what we'll do is pi r squared equals 64 pi, because that's the area right there, right? So all I did was instead of the area, I just put that area formula in. And now I'm going to solve for the radius by dividing both sides by pi first. So that cancels that out. r squared now equals 64. And then r will equal the square root of that. r will equal 8. So now I know that the radius of the circle is 8. Let's go back to what the question was saying one more time. The question was saying one side of a square is equal to 2 fifths the radius of circle B. So now I know the radius of circle B is 8. So the length of this side will be 2 fifths of 8, which is just 2 fifths times 8. 8 times 2 is 16, 16 over 5. And I'll, leave, I'll just leave it at 16 over 5 for now. So I know that the length of one of the sides of the square is 16 over 5. Now my final part here is to figure out the area of the square. So the area of the square is just 16 over 5 times 16 over 5. 16 times 16 is 256. 5 times 5 is 25. For my final answer being 256 over 25. So I did go through that a bit fast. Um, watch this video again if you need to. I'm just going to recap exactly what we did. First, I set the area of the formula, area of the circle equal to the area formula. So I set 64 pi equal to pi r squared. From there, I was able to figure out the radius of the circle. And the radius of the circle ends up being 8. The problem tells me that the length of the side of the square is 2 fifths of the radius of the circle. So that will be 2 fifths. Off just means multiply. So 2 fifths times 8. And when you multiply fractions, you just multiply the numerator and the denominator. So 8 times 2 is 16. 5 times 1 is 5. So my length of the side of the square is 16 over 5. Now, in order to figure out the area of the square, you just have to square the side. So 16 over 5 squared is just 16 over 5 times 16 over 5, and which is what I have over here is the final answer. 16 times 16 is 256. 5 times 5 is 25. So 256 over um, 25 as my final answer.